Hey everyone, glad to be here today and to have so many people. Uh, it's crazy to see the ICP ecosystem grow year after year. And thanks to Emilio for inviting me on stage, of course. Um, today I'm going to present to you two protocols, which is a bit unique. Usually people focus on one. We tend to be all over the place. But instead of me pitching to you, we're going to kind of turn the tables around. I'm going to tell you all of the questions I've received from VCs, investors, community members over the last year. And over those questions, you're going to better understand how those protocols fit into ICP DeFi ecosystem and the broader crypto world. So first, who am I? I'm an ex-Definity Foundation engineer. Um, I'm also one of the early contributors in Water Neuron and one of the validators on ICP. We're the only ex-Definity Foundation engineers on the network as founders. And you can really quickly understand why. So the first question they ask me is what's holding ICP DeFi back, right? ICP has great tech. You know, the VC sat in front of me and they're like, we love the tech, but like, why is the TVL so low? And for this, I'm going to explain to you guys how is ICP DeFi doing, first of all. So let's take a comparison among other programmable L1. So you can see here like Near, Aptos, Avalanche, everyone is doing smart contracts based stuff. So for those that don't know, market cap and FDV definitions are down below. And so if we look at our market cap, it's like a pretty dire situation. Um, but that's what I'm here to fix today. If you look at it in the relative value, because you know we all have different market cap, it's, it's still pretty low, right? And the, the next question people usually ask me is, well, it's okay, we're you know the decentralized cloud. We don't need DeFi. DeFi is for Ethereum, it's for token ledgers. But I say we really care about DeFi for like one simple reason, is that as a founder, I look at the TVL and the DeFi ecosystem as a proxy for the on-chain economy health. So if the TVL is not really low, I'm not gonna really gonna take changes. And if I don't take a chance to build a protocol, the TVL is not gonna go up. And then VC, when they come in to do due diligence, they're gonna look at the liquidity and the same thing is gonna happen again and again and again. And we run into like a chicken and egg problem for the network value. And then the next thing VCs usually tell me is like, there's no demand or DeFi on ICP, you know, it's a different chain, it's between Web 2 and Web 3, it's Web 2.5. Uh, and to this I say bullshit. As you can see, this is the staking rate among all the major L1s. We are on par with everyone else. People want yield, people want DeFi. And as we know, DeFi is just like the demand that we clearly have, plus the protocols that we're lacking, and TVL. And so now the next question they ask me is, you know, why is it complex to build on ICP? And as Emilio rightly said, it's like, we're reinventing how the internet should look like. And so people are not really used to those new constructs. And so you cannot just copy paste Aave or copy paste Uniswap. That doesn't work on here because we're WASM based. Being WASM based offers us a lot of advantages, but it also means you need to innovate a bit more. One of the other things that makes the IC unique is we are a non-synchronous chain. Meaning on Ethereum, you can submit a block of transaction at once and either it goes through or it doesn't. On ICP, you need to wait between each one of them, which makes arbitrage opportunities a bit tougher. Now, the, the following question is like, wh why are we so different, right? Like, I understand you guys are reinventing the web, but like, why? And to this, I say, let's circle back to eight years ago. This is Dom's pitch deck in 2017, right? And the first slide is thresholds. And Threshold Crypto is the core technology that's powering ICP. And so for the last eight years, the foundation has been focused on building something extremely different. And Dom was the first one to understand that in cryptocurrencies, the word crypto, and that stands for cryptography. And as a result, when we wanted to do BLS, we had Ben Lin, which is one of the co-creators. We wanted to do Threshold, we had Victor Shoup, which is also one of the revolutionizer, I guess, of Threshold Crypto. And so then, after all of this, you know, I love my time at the foundation, but then I go stand in front of VCs and they're like, if it was so great, if people are so smart, like, why did you quit? And this is the reason I quit, is because we saw that we had the Ferrari in the garage, but no one knew how to drive it on the outside. But we saw from the inside how good the drivers were and how fast they could go, and we wanted to have a go at it ourselves. And so as a result, we left to kickstart the liquidity. And this is how we think of liquidity. This is our thesis. This is not like breaking through, you know? 
Um, and so for a healthy DeFi ecosystem, you need stablecoins, liquid staking, bore lending, and DEX. And it all goes through. Liquid staking we saw as the most important bit because on a chain, the, the asset people have the most of is the chain's native assets and they would want yield on it. So when we left the foundation, the DeFi ecosystem looked like this. And so we have great decks, great wallets, some of us in the room today with us, but we're clearly missing the first part, right? And so we fixed this. We did Water Neuron this launch a year ago. <laughs> Thank you. We started Water Neuron a year ago. We're now the number one DeFi protocol on ICP. Uh, we hold two thirds of the ICP TVL in terms of ICP. And in the, term, in the world of borrow crypto, we're the number one DAO and the, we're number 50 by holders revenue, even though ICP's DeFi TVL is very low. Next, the next issue we wanted to tackle was chain fusion. Chain fusion is extremely good technology and people don't really realize how good this is. The IC's whole premise is you can build a protocol in six months, which should have taken you six years. So other, blend, other bridges have like whole networks of validators, stakers, research team. We don't need any of it here. The teams are in-house, you just need to call a few APIs and you can come and pick the feature you want to build a protocol. And so we use this thing to improve chain fusion. Chain fusion had a bit of a UX problem and so we improved this. And so today we want to introduce one sec, which is a new decentralized message passing bridge. And we wanted to make this in a way where you could go back and forth between the EVM and ICP in an easy way. Before, this is chain fusion right now, you need CK ETH to go between ICP and ETH. Now, this is a bit of a pain because you want to send USDC, it means you have to go by CK ETH, you have to try the transaction, the transaction fails, you go by again, you come back, you retry. UX wise is horrible. So we said, let's focus on the users. You only need the chain native assets. So you only need USDC. We deducted if we do everything for you. We added new chains because nowadays the kids go on Arbitrum or Base or even Solana or Hyperliquid. Um, and so we introduced new chain, no if needed, and we solved the throughput problems by a really clever engineering hack that I can tell you about afterwards. We also want to export ICP. We feel this is really important because right now when you go on Aerodrome, when you go on Uniswap, you can see SUI, you can see Aptos, you can see Solana wrap tokens, but you don't see ICP. And this is a visibility problem, which I think can be really easy to fix. So this will launch next week. This is what the interface looks like. And our goal... <laughs> our goal is to put ICP on the map. As you can see here, there is everyone, but we are missing. And if we can connect ourselves to the greater world of crypto, we can attract new liquidity. Now, the next problem we wanted to tackle was the one in the middle. So as the, the, at the same time we're building the bridge, we built a bore lending protocol. Now, bore lending on ICP is like Afghanistan. Many countries went to it, few <laughs> were able to conquer it. So we are actually the first protocol who tries, and I hope the first time is a good one. Um, and so this board ending, what makes it unique is we are natively cross-chain and we are integrating the technology of the bridge we just built. And the goal is liquidity, liquidity is the main DeFi problem. And so we have a main USDC pool across all of the chain. Um, but this is not the topic for today. I just wanted to tell you guys that this will launch in a few weeks and we have found a way to do real BTC yield. And no, this is not lending or this is not being in an LP. This is something new that is only possible with ICP tech. Uh, but this is my time here today. Thank you very much.